Prince Harry was desperate to avoid his brother William at the Easter church service attended by the royal family on Sunday, claims a body language expert. The royal's Easter Sunday celebration revealed, the fun between Harry and William seemed to vanish, as they stepped out together in Windsor. Expert Judy James has claimed their display at Sunday's church service suggested the rumoured feud may have escalated. The Duke of Sussex walked ahead of his brother into the service at St George's Chapel in Windsor, fueling speculation they are feuding. For three decades the nation has watched Princess William and Harry walk side by side. Body language expert Judy James told Mail Online, watching them at the Easter service was almost like watching strangers. With Meghan about to give birth soon, Harry was by himself but there were no signs of him joining up with William and Kate on arrival or leaving the church. If anything Harry appeared to avoid his brother. The Duke of Sussex could also be seen chatting away to his cousin Ms Tyndall, but appeared not to speak to his brother amid rumours of a possible rift between the pair. James said Harry appeared keen to avoid the Duke of Cambridge. Walking ahead of William he was first to greet their hosts but when William caught up beside them Harry turned and walked away, she said. He then seemed to dart from a second host and back to the wall, where he appeared to stand with his head down, looking away. His traitor face touching looked like a partial cut-off gesture that can signal a desire to hide. He clearly has the new baby on his mind, and it would be natural for his anxiety levels to increase at a time like this. But the lack of contact with William in the public poses come at a time when you might expect the exact opposite. James said, the behavior contrasted with the brothers' appearances together in previous years, where they displayed the strong bonds between them. Through both their weddings and the heartbreaking funeral of their mother, Princess Diana, the heirs were an inseparable force, as tight as brothers could be. But it was a markedly different scene at St. George's Chapel in Windsor Castle yesterday when the brothers arrive separately for the annual Easter church service. Not only does he arrive and leave walking apart from William and Kate, his antics when William closes in by the church entrance make him look awkward and hints that he could be desperate to avoid him. She added, watching them together would always make royal fans smile, but it is the current apparent lack of tie signs and even subtler cues between the two that will sadly only add to rumors of a rift. Ms. James added, there are also pictures of Harry staring at the ground, while William and his wife Kate followed many paces behind. The brothers eventually found themselves side by side to greet the vicar, but there was no acknowledgement between the siblings. Harry seemed to walk away from his brother, as though he was preferring to stand alone away from the group. In the photographs of the event Harry and William stood at opposite ends of the royal lineup. Ms. James said, his facial expression in the photographs looked dour and he seems to raise one hand to touch his face in what looks like a partial cut-off gesture suggesting a desire to hide. On the same day as the service the Queen celebrated her 93rd birthday which coincided with the most important day in the Christian calendar. Following an hour-long service, the Queen was presented with two posies, one yellow and one white, by two little boys before being treated to a celebratory chorus of happy birthday by crowds gathered outside in the sun. As the well-wishers completed three cheers, the Queen waved to them as she got into her waiting car. Royal family members who attended the service included the Princess Royal, her husband Vice Admiral Sir Timothy Lawrence, Zara and Mike Tyndall, Princess Beatrice, the Earl of Wessex, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, and the Duke of Sussex. April 21st the day the Queen was born, is the first of the monarch's two birthdays. She also has an official one on the second Saturday in June each year, which is commemorated with the Trooping the Color Parade. Gun salutes are also fired as a mark of respect to the Queen on her special day, but never on a Sunday, so this year they will be delayed by one day. On Monday, the King's Troop Royal Horse Artillery will ride their horses and gun carriages past Buckingham Palace en route to Hyde Park to stage a 41-gun royal salute at noon. A 62-gun salute will also be performed by the Honourable Artillery Company at the Tower of London at 1 p.m. the same day. The Queen became Britain's longest reigning monarch, passing her great-great-grandmother Queen Victoria's record, in September 2015. With the death of 88-year-old King Bhumibol Adulyadi of Thailand in 2016, the Queen now holds the record for the world's longest reigning living monarch.